Hi guys and welcome to this Excel quickie. Here I want to talk about merged cells. The other day I got a workbook from a company that is paid way too much to do what they do and they had a bunch of tables like this. The formatting was such so that you couldn't tell what was a cell and what wasn't a cell. It just looked very nice. And no, it didn't have merged cell up here. So you couldn't tell just by looking at it what was going on. You just saw a nice beautiful table. And what had happened is either they had someone working on this workbook over the course of a long time, or they had multiple people working on it who didn't know what was up. They didn't know this was merged. So when you went to apply formulas to these tables that you paid a lot of money to get, you go down there and you wonder why the hell do you have a zero right here? Hmm, maybe it's because these are merged and this one is not merged. <laughs> so the merged cells always get the value from the left cell. So in this case, it would be from column A. And this column A has nothing in it. Nothing. So it is a real pain. Here I referenced the merged cells. You can see that it just input a reference to column A for each one. So what I want to tell you here is that with merged cells, just don't use them unless it's for a title, first of all, or don't use them at all, or just make sure that everybody is on board or make it so that it is so clear that when you are on row 500 and you have a lovely little table that you know that the cells in the table are merged so that when you add another one, everything is merged. But at the end of the day, if you're working with a bunch of people, that's a lot to ask for. So what's the solution? Don't use a merged cell unless it's a title or merge over three columns and then just put the numbers in the middle column. Make life easy, please. And that's all I want you to get from this Excel quickie.